Good morning, everybody. This is Vince Hanvey. Uh, glad you could make it. You're in for the best five minutes of your day here. So we're going to get into a song called More Than Words. It was an 80s classic uh, acoustic hit back then, uh, but it still is one of those timeless songs that as an acoustic guitar player, you definitely should know. So I'm just going to run through it. I'm going to go verse, chorus, and then I'm going to do the bridge, and then we're going to uh, take a step back and we'll uh, slow it down, and we'll review the entire thing and show you how to play it. So that was the verse and the chorus, so let's take a look at the bridge. Um, it's the part that goes, What would you do if our hearts were torn in two? That part starts midway through the song, starts on a G. take a look at all the parts separately and go through them slowly. Alright, the first part we're going to be attempting is going to be the uh, intro and the verses. And that starts right here on the G. What we're going to do is we're going to strike the bass note and then the high strings. It starts it off. My next uh, motion is down here to the A string where I'm pushing down on the second fret and then we go to the C9 so that intro opening is then I go to the A7 which is just simply I just imply the A7 I just hold down here on the uh, second fret of the B string and then I press my pinky down here on the third fret of the uh, of the E string, so we get this sound. And then we go back to the C, and then to D. And what I'm doing there is I'm pressing down with my pinky onto the third fret. That gives us a D sus four. It's this chord right here. So once again, slow, it's... All right, good. Now we're gonna go into, I guess you would call it the pre-chorus. The part that goes, how easy it would be to show me. That part's gonna start on an E minor. So once again, I'm on E minor, I'm hitting the bass string first, and then I go to a B minor. And then to C, and then we go to D, and then we're going to go, show me how you feel. That's just from G to D with an F sharp bass, and then finally E minor. And then we go into the chorus, more than words. All 
All right. So we're going to start with the A7. More than words. His arm. I'm going to pull out a D7 here. If you're not familiar with the D7, it's going to be uh, third finger, second fret, index finger, first fret on the B, and then finally uh, second finger on the G string on the second fret. More than words. Then we go to a G7. And then to a C. <clears throat> then we're going to go to a C minor back to a G. So we're going to walk it down. And right here on the E minor chord, we're going to strike the uh, sixth string and the high strings together. <clears throat> and then down striking the D string along with it. And then we're going to go to the A7. Because I'd already that's D7 again. <clears throat> then we're going to go into the uh, bridge. <clears throat> that part's a little tricky. Um, we do start with the G chord. This time we just kind of rock back and forth between that G note right here on the third fret and the B note here on the A note or on the A string. Then we do this little jump uh, from open E. I'm striking the open E and then I'm going to hammer down on the second fret, which is the F sharp. And this is a D slash F sharp. You'll see it a lot on chord charts and it's a really nice little transitional chord. And it kind of sounds like that. We're going to go to the E minor. So I'm striking the E string and the high strings together, and then the A string and the high strings together. To the B minor. Then I hit the D string and the high strings again. So. And then to C. So what we're doing is just walking down from the C to the B to the A minor 7 just by saying I love you. And then right back into uh, the main chord progression that started the song off. So that is the uh, third and final part. All right, so that was More Than Words by Extreme. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the best way to practice this is just to go through each part slowly and then maybe uh, put on the, the video. And uh, on YouTube, you can obviously slow down the video if you want. Um, and work it at 50%, then 75%, and then up to 100 until you have it at full speed. Now, one other uh, item that you need to know is that this is a half step down, so you'll have to tune your guitar a half step down as well in order to have this uh, correctly. Um, so good luck to you. Hope you have fun with it, and we'll see you on the next one.